I'm, I'm coming to you from Kangaroo City. Uh, I just got back here. Uh, I have a little uh, airstrip out uh, front, and uh, my Lear can get in okay. Uh, the kangaroos run like hell. <laughs> They're on the strip. But <clears throat> anyway, I wanted to give you a, um, a link. And I told you, if someone is smarter or better than I am, <clears throat> not only am I humiliated, angry, and upset, but I have to be honest and put their links down. <clears throat> so Steve Benson, I put two or three of maybe four or five of his links down. One of the most comprehensive, detailed writers I've ever met in my life. We were at BYU together. Um, I don't know why I say that. I never saw him. He never saw me. But anyway, we're about the same age. And um, this is on the witnesses to the Book of Mormon. Now, the Mormons will tell you that there were three witnesses uh, that the Book of Mormon plates were seen and eight witnesses that they felt the... the um, um, gold plates. Now, one of the things you have to realize is one of the three witnesses picked up the plates and said they were about 30 to 60 pounds, um, but it was a rock. <laughs> Joseph Smith <laughs> had hidden uh, a big rock under a canvas, and this guy picked it up. But anyway, they say that if the uh, plates uh, really did exist, they would be over 300 pounds. <laughs> no one man, man couldn't pick them up. Anyway, anyway, I, this is the most comprehensive, detailed, documented um, article I have ever seen on the witnesses to the Book of Mormon. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> Take it as you will. You know, the Mormons say that uh, the witnesses saw all these things. <laughs> It wasn't one witness that saw anything, and all three of the witnesses, um, they joined other churches <laughs> left. <laughs> and Martin Harris, uh, I think he was the one that said, no, I was lying. <laughs> there was eight others. Anyway, take a look at Steve's uh, documentation. Make up your own decision. Were there reliable witnesses to the uh, Book of Mormon? I say, health in the navel, mirror on the bone, strength in the loins, and in the sinews, power in the priesthood, be upon me and upon my posterity through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. And what is that? Uh, that is the uh, second token of the Melchizedek priesthood, the patriarchal grip or sure sign of the nail. Has it a name? Uh, yes, and I've come here to get it, and the bard has already said it, health and enable mirror on the bones. Anyway, take a look at Steve's work there. I admire the guy. He's a Pulitzer Prize winner, and uh, you can see why. Thanks.